Hello viewers of my channel. I'm out of clever things to say at the beginning of a video. Anyway, I've been telling you I'm going to do this video. So I'm doing this video now. I have decided I'm going to do a split in two format with this. For A, people who just want to review. And B, if you want to see the customization, it's just a separate thing. Just for digestibility sake and my sanity editing it. Um, even though I do very minimal edits. So this is part one of the Stoneheart video. Now that I am done with my other back burner stuff, um, this is just going to be a quick, very quick figure review of this figure. Um, without further ado, what I kind of had to do so I can keep my handling to a minimum, I um, I went and did uh, like half of one accessory part, half of the other to some extent. I'll explain why I didn't completely do it. Um, what you get with the figure, it's massive. It's a, a redo of that uh, Predator from that horrible Predator movie whose name we won't speak. It was just, anyway. They used its tooling to make this dude from Concrete Jungle a really niche, not well-known game for Xbox and PlayStation 2. This is the second figure in that line. I hope we get more because we have the original uh, protagonist figure on my wall. That's not what the video is about today. This is about the second figure we got for it. Really a big surprise that NECA put this out. I'm glad that they do, and I hope this is a sign that they will do more of those from the game. Um, as it's used from that mold, from the figure we won't speak of, it's uh, very big, like that other figure we won't speak of. Um, it's like double the size almost of the other NECA figures, and coming in at what would normally be about 50 bucks. Uh, disclaimer, I had a coupon from my local store, because I turned in some of my little frequent flyer card things. Um, but normally I think full price is like 50 bucks, 60 maybe on some sites, I don't know. Um, but it comes with some cool stuff. Not super accessory heavy, even though it is, I think, is this technically an ultimate? I think they all are technically ultimates at this point, as far as how NECA is choosing to label these dudes. There's a, a brief discussion on the back of his backstory, so you at least know what you're buying if you never played the game. Cool box art on the front, open window, Hasbro. So you can see that it doesn't have cross eyes or whether the figure paint is shitty or not. Hasbro, bring it back. Um, it's cool how they included the um, the icons, the heads-up display icons from the game in the box. I like that little touch that they did there. Um, so what the figure comes with, real quick, is uh, the way they did the face. Instead of multiple heads, I like what they did here. They chose to give you the options of swapping out an open or closed mandible which I posted either on here so I don't have to fumble on camera so you can see what closed mandible looks like and open mandible looks like, both of which look rock solid to me. The inner mouth can actually open and close. I don't know if I could do it. Oh, okay, I did it there. So you could change the mouth as you choose. You know, obviously you probably would want the mouth open with, uh, the, with the open mandibles and close with the closed mandibles, right? But it's up to you. You can do that because this changes. Um, but yeah, you just swap the piece out. It's not magnetic like the Mezco, but I don't care. It still works fine. Um, then you also have some LEDs in the figures. There's some in the head. And then, as you can see there, turn that shit off. And the tricky one is the back one because the pegs are a little funky. And then there's another set of LEDs. All right. Damn it. Oh, he's going to fall. Another set of LEDs here. The tricky part, like I said, is getting these damn pegs to line up correctly, to seal them back up. Even though I didn't mix them up, it's still kind of a pain in the ass, especially to do one-handed, but anyway. Those glow, just like glows, very nice. Turn that off, not hard to get to. I, I really do wish that this were magnetic like the, um, the Mezco. And although I've never done a magnetic clasp or swap out thing before, this makes me ponder doing it for this figure. Hey, I got it back on without too much travel. Um, anyway, the sculpting's really nice on it. I really like that. The paint job isn't horrible. I'm just going to do some additional textures and things just because I want to, but not not because the paint looks bad. Especially the face. The face I'm really happy with. The, with the sculpting and the paint on it, it really has just a intense smoldering look to it that I really dig that they did with this here did come with optional claws. I'm just not a big fan of these big claws. These big claws were part of the character in the game. I just like the the non. I just not a fan. I wasn't a fan clear back when they introduced it in the AVP movie and not a fan today. One thing the things I wish that would change about it is like these are obviously blue. 
I would have paid more to have more LEDs perhaps in the waistband and in the gauntlets, maybe in the knees, whatever they could have pulled off there, but they didn't. And that's okay. It doesn't ruin it for me. But if they had chose to do that, I like that better, I think, personally. Um, God knows I'm not going to try to put LEDs in an action figure at this stage in my quote-unquote figure customization career. Fuck that noise. We're going to keep that as is. But, yeah, so this is this is basically a review. Oh, the other thing you to mention is... Um, it does stand well on its own. That's a huge deal. Most of my big figures, looking at you, Ultraman down there, laying down behind my fucking monitor, looking at you, quarter scale, can't stand at all, has to lean against the wall. Big figures tend to not want to stand on their own. This one does fine. Um, no problem with the pose. That, that was the one thing, but the posing's a bit of a bitch. Probably because these joints are bigger. Even with a hair dryer, it was a bit of a bitch to get even some basic articulation on the elbows. The other thing, too, do you remember how I told you I didn't change everything? What I didn't change was the hands. I was going to put one of these hands in. But even with the hair dryer, I still was a little afraid I might snap off a wrist on this thing, and I just didn't want to. These are the fans I want displayed anyway, so I'm going to leave it as is. But you get the picture. But definitely, if you're going to swap those hands, heat the shit out of it with a hair dryer. And make sure you put some lube in on the joint when you pop it back in. So if you're going to swap again, it comes out easier. It goes in easier. Just remember that little trick. Um, ultimately, whenever I get my damn hot ends for my filament printer, they're on the way from China. God knows when they're going to get here. Probably on a fucking balloon about to get shot down. Uh, whenever that gets here, I will use my filament printer and probably make them some kind of a nice base to display. You know what I'm saying? Just really set the whole thing off, quote unquote. Um... I don't know if I'm going to include that on the customization video. It just from, depends on when it gets here. Um, assuming the, um, assuming I can't print in my desired time frame, I will just paint it and then have a second video on just the the paint. It's not going to be a repaint. I already like the color. I already like most of what's going on here. I may do some just kind of like some speckling for the skin, maybe some washes. I feel like some washes could bring this detail out a little bit more. That's really going to be it for this customization. Not a lot I want to do with the head or the face. The eyes I'm very happy with. And that's the thing, you know, there have been figures I've passed on, dumb me, just because the eyes were cross-eyed. Obviously, this is not, but, you know, if you don't figure repaint, you'll probably be perfectly happy with this. Um, as far as a quote-unquote, like, summary review, I would say this. If you like this design, definitely get this figure. I can see that it could be a big turnoff for some people because in the in the store, yes, his dreads are cut off. If you don't like that, if you don't like the design, you may not want to get it, but I hope that you get it because that will tell NECA with your dollar bills that we want more ne uh, concrete jungle stuff. Um, so that's just my thought on it. It's just a matter of if you like the design, hell yeah, I get this. It's a great value. If you don't, don't get it. That's it. That's my brief figure review on this figure. Another video soon. Probably after a work today, I'll film some uh, repaint stuff and I'll start on that. And then there will be another video soon after that for the repaint. So I hope you guys have a nice afternoon.